A new legal move from activist groups planning protests for the Democratic National Convention. The city is blocking their protest plans, but the groups are fighting back. And as tensions build, some comparisons are already being made to the notoriously chaotic convention of 1968. Our Tara Molina is live at the United Center where the city has blocked every protest permit filed. Tara. Erica and Joe, this will be the heart of the DNC in August, and it's where the groups that are taking the city to court say they deserve to be seen and heard. It's a fight that's one example of a parallel that's being drawn to the 1968 Democratic National Convention by political experts here in Chicago. Violence and chaos. Chicago during the Democratic National Convention of 1968. Their images still haunting the Democratic Party more than 50 years later. The uh, hell on earth shots of the police in conflict uh, uh, with demonstrators. Political uh, consultant Don Rose lived it. One of Dr. Martin Luther King's press secretaries, just one position on a storied resume. Another as a spokesman for the National Mobilization Committee to end the war in Vietnam. A leader of the protests and demonstrations during the 1968 convention. Uh, but we were the principal organizer. Justice is our demand. And when Rose sees this, <laughs> not only the protests happening across the Chicago area and the country against the war in Gaza, but the fight against the city now in federal court for the right to protest within sight and sound of the convention here in August but it looks like a repeat in the making. He sees 1968 all over again. At this moment, there's a perfect parallel. With the city offering protest groups a site about four miles away, putting them in a completely different part of town, arguing Chicago does not have enough police to protect the planned parade of organizers while keeping protests in check and managing traffic. It's the denial of protest rights, the denial of permits, uh, and the absolutism of keeping people away from the site that can lead us into another perhaps violent confrontation. 34,000 Palestinians have already been killed. It's a fight that's back in court right now. So that's why we're here, to fight for our right to be in the streets. With the U.S. Palestinian Community Network and the Chicago Alliance Against Racist and Political Repression, two of the main groups set to demonstrate this summer, now filing this temporary injunction, calling for a court order that would allow for less restrictive alternatives for a parade permit within sight and sound of the convention. I can see where a mess might lie ahead. But from someone who has been there, Rose says the city still has time to learn from history and correct course. It's going to take a lot of work, but they've got time to make the repairs. That's the thing right now. No comment from Mayor Brandon Johnson's office on the court filing made today. The city's law office told me they do not comment on pending litigation. Reporting outside the United Center, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.